It's time for another thrift haul, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina, and I am a part-time reseller on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, and The Real Real. And I've been finding some really good stuff at my local thrift. I uh, did a thrift haul not too long ago um, with some clothing, shoes, jewelry, and I have something similar for you today. Um, I thought we would do the um, shoes and the clothing first, and then I'll point the camera down and go over the jewelry. Um, if you're interested in purchasing anything in the video, just send me an email to stinaresells at gmail.com, and I'm happy to sell to you directly. It's so much fun for me to share my haul with you guys, uh, so you can kind of see what my thrift has and um, what kind of deals I've been able to snag there. I have a ton of jewelry, you guys. I've been having so much good luck at my thrift and I'm like scared to even say it like knock on wood <laughs> that my luck's going to run out but um, I had just a huge haul and I wanted to bring it to you guys. Plus I also did a haul from a garage sale um, so I need to bring that to you all soon as well. All right, well, let's hop right into it so you can see what I scored. Um, I'm going to do the shoes first and some of um, some of the items throughout the hauler for me, I'm still going to show them to you so you can see what I got. But, you know, I love keeping stuff when I <laughs> when I can find it. So the first item that I picked up uh, was this pair of Ipanema. That's how I say it. I don't even know if that's correct. Um, leather boots. These remind me of like the 80s with the way that the um that the foot is shaped. So these are adorable. I think these were in such good shape. Um, I couldn't pass them up. And these are in a five and a half. Let me show you the other one. Excellent shape. It almost looks like nobody even wore these. And I just couldn't walk away. Now, I live in Texas, okay? And so I feel like at my thrift, um, when you find like cowboy boots, uh, those are marked way up, but not all the time on other leather boots. So I got a good deal on these. Um, these say made in Brazil leather upper, and then they say down here five and a half. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you the branding on the inside. Maybe I'll put it on the screen. I, I'm filming this kind of late, you guys, because you know that's how I roll. Um, so I don't know how much time I'm going to have for editing. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's way down on the inside. Anyway, I'll put it on the screen if I have time <laughs> and it's not too late um, to get the video up. All right, so that's the first item and I'm gonna do those if anyone's interested for $18. Now the next pair of shoes is for me, yay. Um, I scored this pair, they're a little dirty so I just still have to clean them, but I scored this pair of Etienne on yay loafers. Look what great condition these are in. They are dirty. Okay. Um, I do have to clean them, <laughs> but it's got the little logo there. There's hardly any wear on the shoe. And these are in a size 10. I wear usually like a nine and a half, but I tried these on in the store and they seem to fit really well. So I think these will be great for me to like wear to work. And then again, in the fall, they've got like a suede really, really cute. I was super happy about these. So that's a keeper for me. Now, the next pair of shoes, I'm on the fence on whether or not I'm going to be keeping these as well because they're also in my size. But I do have a pair of already gray like suede ankle boots. So I'm not sure yet. <laughs> um, but these are by Rag and Bone and these are in a size 40. Also in really excellent condition. You've got your wood stacked heel and then the back exposed zipper. Um, you can see here how the soles are just in great shape overall. And you can see the rag and bone there and the size. So if anyone's interested in these, I'm also going to do these for $18. Yay. And you know, if they don't sell I probably will keep them, <laughs> but I thought I would give you guys a chance first because I already have a pair of gray ankle boots. So, all right, y'all, I could not believe I found this dress. Okay, so my thrift is also 
honestly pretty good at pulling, you know, higher end items and marking them up. However, they missed this one. So I was, and they missized it too. Um, so I was like really thrilled to find this. Um, I've sold this brand before, Ghani. And this is a luxe brand, I believe. Maybe Rent the Runway sells it. Um, it's in this gorgeous um, textured print, really structured dress. Look at this dress. Y'all, I wish this was in my size so badly because I love this. Um, and a beautiful cream. There's no stainings, no pulls. I mean, it's like in perfect condition. Uh, they had this marked as an extra small. Uh, no, y'all, it is a medium. <laughs> so if anyone is interested in this one, I am going to do it for $40. So snatch that up. Um, the next item I couldn't leave behind. Y'all, why have I been all in the outerwear? It's getting hot and I am just, every time I go to the thrift, I'm in the outerwear. I don't know. Maybe I'm wishing it was cooler. <laughs> it's probably still cooler where some of y'all live. Um, I love the brand Sanctuary. It doesn't necessarily resell for the most, but I thought this was adorable. You've got um, kind of this dark charcoal and then the um, like fuzzy inlay on the inside. You've got kind of these raw seams. I love it. There is a little... Um, hole here. I think it was for maybe, is there a button? I can't remember. Hold on. Yes, there's one button here. So there is a one button closure and then you can see that raw edging. I love this one. Again, if this was in my, so I buy stuff I like, which is probably not always what you should be doing for reselling, but um, that's what I do. Anyways, um, this, and I love Sanctuary. So Sanctuary, this is in a size small. If it was a large or above, I would probably hold on to that. If anyone's interested in that one, I will do it for 20, just say 20. I'll give you all a good deal. I think I was going to say 25, but okay. Also in the outerwear, I was thrilled. Now this one was marked up, but I went ahead and got it because it was in great shape. Um, I found a Lululemon. Look at this active jacket. I love this. It's got this really pretty kind of ruching along the outside. And then the base of the jacket, look at that little ruffle. I love this. Very stretchy on the bottom. It is hooded. It's got a hood, um, which is great. And then you can see the little roll at the end there on the sleeve. Here's your tag. She is in a size 12 in a black and in excellent condition. And I forgot the name of this one. So sorry. If I remember it and I have time to put it on the screen, I will. <laughs> if not, sorry. <laughs> um, but if anyone's interested in this one, I will do it for $50. Okay. Last item. Okay. This is an accessory. I um, have been seeing this at my thrift for a while and um, I didn't pick it up because they had it marked way up. I just think this, y'all know I love scarves. I have a scarf problem, jewelry problem. I have lots of problems, but cute, adorable scarf with this pink and white polka dot. You get kind of a tan neutral khaki color and this is not broken. It's just flipped this little rhinestone did that earlier. Here we go. Um, and it's got these really cute little rhinestone accents around. And this is Betsy Johnson. Um, they ended up marking it down. And so I snatched it up. It is 100% acrylic. If anyone is interested in the Betsy Johnson scarf, let's do the scarf for $20. Okay. I'm going to point the camera down and I'm going to go over the jewelry. I have a lot of jewelry to show you guys. That's the majority of the haul today, okay? One of the items that we're going to start with is this, okay? You may have seen it in the thumbnail. 
I saw this as soon as I walked into the thrift. This was last week and snatched it up. Um, I honestly at first was like not thinking it was true. It's very heavy, not really thinking it's going to actually be turquoise. Um, but I thought that the carved pattern in the stone was so gorgeous that I wanted it. Okay. So, um, I picked it up and, um, I, I tested it the best I can, um, and rubbed a little like acetone in an inconspicuous spot and nothing came off y'all. So I actually think that this is turquoise. Again, I'll give you a better look when I point the camera down. I did look up, like did a Google lens and some comps for this and it's insane. So I don't know if mine are like that one or not because I don't know enough about this. So I'm still researching it, but I just wanted to share this with you guys. It's amazing. Um, so anyways, let me know what you guys think of this piece. I'll give you a closer peek here in just a second. Okay, I wanted to give you a close-up of this beauty, and hopefully I've put a picture of the similar one that I found um, online, but look at how gorgeous these pieces of stone are. I just can't get over it. Um, the one that was online did not have this like gold clasp like this, so, or toggle, and it didn't have the spacer beads in between it either, but... Um, I just couldn't get over how beautiful this necklace is. So wanted to give you guys a close up. Obviously I'm still researching this and uh, figuring out exactly what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm certainly gonna enjoy it for a while myself. So um, let's get into the thrifted jewelry. Now, before I do that, I also forgot that I have a Shop Goodwill lot. So I'm gonna interrupt the thrift haul and it's just a real small, um, Shop Goodwill lot I got for some alpaca jewelry. Um, I thought I would offer some of the pieces up for sale. I am keeping some of them, which is why I bought it. <laughs> um, but the ones that I'm not planning on keeping, I thought I would give you guys first dibs. Um, I saw these and completely fell in love with them. Um, all of these, these are all earrings and they are all alpaca and um, some of them have abalone, which I'm a huge fan, of course, and some of them have some different stones. But um, I fell in love with this pair of little bug abalone earrings, so I am going to be keeping those. Next, these will be for sale, and again, these are alpaca, um, and look how gorgeous this turquoise is that's in the center here. Uh, you can see the mark here on the back. Right there. Um, if anyone is interested in these, we'll do $25. Oh, I'm on the fence about whether or not I want to keep these, you guys. Um, I'm going to offer these up, and if nobody snags them, I'm going to keep them. <laughs> we'll do it that way. That'll help make the decision for me. Um, we've got a gorgeous pair of heart shaped earrings with an abalone inlay. See the backs there. And I'm gonna just do the same price on all of these at $25. Next. Oh, these got a little twisted here. These are so cute, I love it. Honestly, I love all of these. I just really should not be keeping <laughs> all of the earrings. So um, I thought I would see if you guys are interested as well. Look how cool this shape of the earring is. I love how it's got kind of the teardrop, reverse teardrop on both sides with the abalone inlay. I'm not sure what these other ones are, um, but really gorgeous. And again, we'll just do 25. This pair is really sweet as well. Um, you've got the, <clears throat> excuse me, the flower inlay in here with probably like mother of pearl and stamped there on the back, 25. And then this is the other pair that I am definitely keeping. And these are um, what I think is probably like Larimar. So 
So I just thought these were gorgeous. Gonna be holding on to these as well. Anyways, let me know what you think of that Shop Goodwill lot. Um, I think that might be the first Shop Goodwill lot I've actually purchased on auction before. I know, shocker. Um, but I just couldn't pass up those, those earrings, so. And while we're moving into the thrifted jewelry, I picked this up from my local thrift. This is an alpaca um, bracelet right here. It's where it's marked. And so I actually picked this up for me. So I'm going to, um, might as well just throw it on, right? Throw it on. Look how cute that is. I've got um, some jewelry on that I purchased this on uh, from Barb on Whatnot. This was out of a lot that I um, unboxed for you guys. I don't remember if it was Goodwill. It was a bulk jewelry lot. So just thought I'd throw that on. It's not silver or anything, just fashion. Also, check out this amazing Bakelite ring. <laughs> I love this ring so much. Um, it's adjustable, but I just adore this one. Really cool, super chunky. And then I've got on a pressed flower bracelet and then the ruby bracelet that I found at my local thrift so I've got a few little things on my hands here so I thought I'd show you what's up so um, the first two items I'm gonna also show are items that I found for myself that I'm gonna keep um, from the thrift so the first one as you know I love abalone um, is this pair of Kate Spade studs I I mean, these couldn't be more perfect for me. I couldn't believe that I found these. So I am keeping those. But again, I just, even if I'm keeping it, I wanted to show you guys um, what my thrift store has been offering. Then I saw these and I always check the earrings when they're gold like this, just in case they might be 14K. And these are y'all. So I was over the moon about those the backs um so I'm I'm gonna be keeping these for myself but I thought though I was like shocked that I found gold so that was awesome all right next up we'll do earrings first um a few bracelets and then necklaces so um this was the bottom set <laughs> on the crosses because they pair them together like this sometimes you see um, and so I, um, and so anyways, sometimes they'll, if they, if there's little tiny earrings, they'll put two on a card. So anyways, this is the bottom set. Um, these are really cute. They've got like a gunmetal lever back and then re these red beaded kind of, kind of like a wreath or a flower. Um, if anyone is interested in these, I'll do these for $3. Next is another pair of lever backs. These are marked 925. I'll see if I can show you guys the marking. It's right here. And I did test all of this independently as well. Um, but you've got these lever backs with the pearl dangle. So sweet. I love these. And these I will do for $14. Next, we have a pair of sterling hoops. And I can't remember where I saw the marking on these, but I did test these. Um, but these are pretty substantial. They're not overly heavy. I believe they're about three grams um, without the backs. And um, But I just thought that these were really cool. And again, I don't remember if I saw the marking, if it was on the post, but um, or where it was, but I did test the post and the hoop and they are sterling. And um, for these, I will do $15, really nice. Next, when I saw these, I went crazy. I was like, these are so beautiful. The stone that's in here, it's got those not severe facets, but kind of um, really subtle faceting on the stone, if you can see that. But the thing that um, caught my attention was the hardware on here. I thought it was really unique. And so I figured that these were something. I just grabbed them um, and then later was able to Google Lens and figure out that they are Stella and Dot. These are the Serenity Stone Drops and they are comping out really good online. Um, I think recently there was a pair of these that sold for about 
60 or $70. So if anyone is interested in these, we'll do them for 25. Next, we have a pair of dangles. Look at the little pave in here. These are really cool. It's funny because um, I saw that these were marked KC. So um, that is Kenneth Cole, I believe. And I just thought these dangles were so sweet. So if anyone's interested in these, we'll do these for $4. Now, these were on the card with this set, like this. Um, and so I didn't originally see any sort of marks or anything on these, but I thought both of these were really cool. And so I just went ahead and picked them up. Once I got home and I took these off the card, now these do need to be cleaned up a little bit, okay? Um, but they are sterling. And um, they are marked 925 DV. I don't know what DV is. I tried to do a little bit of research, but I couldn't really find anything. So if anyone, I don't know what stone is in here. Y'all know I don't have a presidium, so I'm guessing a CZ. Not sure, but these are sterling. They are set in sterling. So if anyone's interested in these, I will do these for $15. Maybe one of y'all jewelry people know what that is. Let me know. <laughs> Next up, I have, look, I just, these are so great. I keep going off camera. Sorry about that. I'm just excited. <laughs> um, anyways, I've got these, I mean, little tiny little stones and pearls, I'm trying to get them to catch the light a little bit so you can see them in different purples. Um, and then you've got this, what I'm assuming is an onyx. It is very cold to the touch and these are kind of heavy. Um, and then look at the um, hardware on the bottom here. Isn't that really pretty? I thought these were gorgeous and I did notice, let's see if I can find it for you guys real fast, on the side here of the um, hook that it is marked 925. So if anyone is interested in these, um, I'm not really sure what to ask. The ear hook on this one is a little kind of bent. I don't know if you can see that. So this will need to be kind of fixed up a little bit. Um, but if anyone's interested in these, let's do these for, I don't know. Let's do these for, let's just say 18. I just think they're so gorgeous. All those little pearls and that onyx ball. Anyway, those were one of my favorites that I picked up. Next up, more, I found a lot this last time I went to the thrift, I found a lot of um, pearls and sterling. So I have quite a few little pairs. So if you like pearls and you like sterling, you're set. Um, but we've got these pearl, maybe like some sort of quartz, and another pearl here, and these are post earrings. They are sterling. Um, I didn't see any other marks on those, but I did test those independently. Um, and so if anyone is interested in these, we can do these for 15. Next, more sterling and more pearls. Check these out. Um, I'll try to give you a close up of these. Um, you've got maybe like a little I don't know if this is shell, but different types of pearls that are hanging on here. Look how beautiful that is. And then you've got these faceted, or one of them is like a faceted crystal. And then you've got this um, little crystal kind of dangle at the bottom. Really nice, same thing like a shepherd's hook type ear wire. And these are also marked on the side here, 925. So if anyone's interested in these, let's do these for 18. Next, we have, look at this like modernist pair of um, earrings. I did notice that they were marked. I didn't take a close enough look to see exactly what they said, but obviously once I got home, <laughs> I uh, took a closer look and these are marked Napier right there. Um, they're in excellent condition. Uh, maybe just need a light wipe down. But if anyone is interested in these, we will do these for $8. Hey, y'all. <laughs> All right. And then last pair of earrings. I don't know how that went so fast. Are these. 
These are so cool. Um, I was calling these like a paddle style. Um, and then I was talking to Brayton over at Brayton Your Day about it and he was calling them like a fan style. So I don't know, however you want to say, but um, they almost look like they could be like a Mexican or a native. Um, I don't know that, but they are sterling. It is marked right here on the side. If it'll focus. Um, on both of these and these are very lightweight actually really nice I think they're super interesting so if anyone's interested in these we will do these for 18 okay next we're gonna do some bracelets and then I have some really cool necklaces for you guys um, <clears throat> the first up more turquoise can y'all believe it <laughs> um, I found this turquoise bracelet um i fell in love with the stones and of course i always love a good toggle clasp i looked around for you know it to say 925 or something i didn't see anything but i did test it and it is sterling so i thought that was a win so if anyone is interested in this we can do the turquoise bracelet for 20. i really like it i think the stones are really interesting Okay, next up, all of these, y'all. <laughs> so my thrift, like, will bind together bracelets and mark them, like, for sale. So I originally bought this set um, for this one, and then I bought this set for this one. Um, so we'll start with these. This um, bangle is in excellent condition, and it is marked on the inside here, Monet. So if anyone is interested in the Monet Silver Tone bangle, in great shape, we will just say $5. Then these other two were with it. So um, I'm this one's not marked, um, the one with like the black enamel. Um, it needs a good cleaning on the inside and there is some light wear, but if anyone's interested in this, I'm just going to ask a dollar. Okay. And then this one also has some wear and needs cleaning. It is marked and this one is marked chaps on the inside. So if anyone's interested in the chaps bracelet, let's just say $2 on that. It's really nice. It's got the black and then like kind of the cream or the white and then black little stripe. Again, it needs a good like wipe down in there. Next was this set. And I always, I don't know if other people's thrift stores do this or not, okay? But whenever there's like a set, I look kind of like this on the inside to see if I see any marks. Usually if I see marks, I just buy it um, because then it's worth it for me. So this one is the showstopper from the set, okay? Um, we'll talk about that one in just a second. Um, the rest of these, which are also really pretty, um, I did t test them just in case, this one specifically, but it's not sterling. Silver tone, really pretty kind of, um, not braided, but like a wrapped uh, pattern around it. It's in good shape. I'm just going to say a dollar. We'll call that one the wrapped bracelet. This one's got little like dots on it. It does have some wear on the inside and needs a good cleaning. On this one, silver tone, we'll just say a dollar. And then you've got this textured bangle. This one's a little bit thinner. I don't know if it was supposed to be like a gold tone in the background and then kind of the silver tone on top. I'm not really sure, but we'll just say a dollar. Okay, so let's talk about this beauty. So when I was in the thrift, um, when I was looking inside the bangles, I saw this. Okay, that's what caught my attention. I saw that it said 925 and I saw there were some other marks. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. I mean, you know, obviously I knew it was sterling and then look at the, I knew that these were probably some sort of gemstone. Okay, so when I was trying to figure out the marks on the inside here, my friend Brighton helped me. We'll just be mentioning Brighton constantly because he helps me so much. Um, the mark right before the, I have it upside down. 
um, right before the 925 right there, I was like, Brighton, it looks like an R with like a crescent moon. And he's like, OMG, Christina, <laughs> it's Carolyn Pollock. <laughs> so I can't, this is my first Carolyn Pollock, you guys. And I wish that this would fit me, but it does not. So I will be offering this for sale. I am doing some more research, but if you're interested, send me an email. The comps that I've been able to kind of find so far, everything has sold over $100. Um, so, you know, I can cut you guys a deal, of course, but um, it's just, it's gorgeous, okay? I just, anyways, if you're interested, send me an email. Okay, I'm just, I was dying over that one. All right, so while we're talking, about Brighton. <laughs> Let's keep talking about Brighton. Um, he helped me figure out the maker on this one as well. Um, look how beautiful this necklace is. And I am still researching this, let me just tell you. Even though he helped me figure out who the maker was, I'm trying to figure out what these little stones are that are on it. Okay, ignore my, my ring backing here. Um, but I saw, you know, I thought it was really dainty and, and pretty. Um, and then I saw that there was a hang tag right here and it is marked AV925. So, um, and Brayden's going to be like, you're not pronouncing it right. <laughs> um, but this is the brand Alwyn. Vahan, I believe, um, and this is like a verme, and then it's got these sweet beads. So this brand goes for like a good amount, but the, the reason that I'm trying to do some more research, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch it for you guys in the light correctly, but I did notice as I was looking at these beads, some of them, like I can see right here, this one is flashing for me. Um, and I keep getting little flashes here and there. There's some right here. So I don't know if these are maybe Moonstone. I haven't found an exact match to this one. So I'm gonna hold on to it for a while. Um, but I just wanted to show you that I got this one. And thanks again to Brighton over at Brighton Your Day for all of his help. Um, he knows so much about jewelry and helps me all the time. So I appreciate it. And if you aren't familiar with his channel or haven't checked it out, he does post, um, unboxings usually a goodwill blue box or a um, thread up diy box on saturdays so make sure to check out his channel it's brighten your day at yahoo.com thanks brighton um okay so next up we have uh this gorgeous stone necklace y'all know i don't know all the stones i have no idea what kind of stone this is if you know please drop it in the comments these are very smooth to the touch and then they have these really sweet kind of a b faceted beads in between and then the stunner is this pendant y'all i love this um it's got this really pretty um, almost like a woven pattern into the stone and i of course don't know what kind of stone this is but you can see how it's a little bit different right here through here so again if you know what this is please let me know um this one See if I can show you. I left these on the card so that they don't get tangled. Let's see if I can show you guys the clasp here. It is not marked at all. Um, it's not marked sterling or anything. It's got this kind of uh, shepherd's hook closure, but I did test it and it is sterling. So yay. Um, and if anyone is interested in this gorgeous stone necklace, I love it, um, is $25 for this one. Ugh. That one's great. Okay. Now, you guys know I love coral. Hello. <laughs> so I found this necklace at the thrift, and I'm like, this is really cool. I picked it up, and I was looking at it closer, and I'm like, I really feel like this is coral. It's very lightweight, okay? But if you look closely at these beads, um, not beads, but if you look closely at these pieces, you can see the details in them. And so I, I really am pretty confident that this is coral. Um, if no one buys this, I'm keeping it. <laughs> uh, it's not sterling, so just a gold tone, um, kind of linked 
chain and then you have these different coral pieces hanging down it is two layers like this um, because it is not a precious metal um, I'm not going to charge as much but um, I, there's lots of really cool pieces of coral in here so if anyone's interested in this one I will do this one for 25 as well okay then this is the second time I have found Joan Rivers at my thrift and this Joan Rivers is in awesome shape and look how sweet this is I love the pink the yellow the lavender and the green faceted stones in this um, pendant and it's the chain everything's in really great shape excellent condition here's the clasp nowhere here's your hang tag See if I can get it to focus for you right there I did look up comps on these um, I would say they're selling for around 50 so maybe a little bit less than that um, so if anyone's interested in this one I'll do it for 20 I try to give you all about half of what I would list an item for um, I picked this one up for me and now I'm like Christina you already have a silver <laughs> beaded necklace I have problems um, this one is stainless steel, which is cool because it will stay shiny. Um, and it is marked right here. And I did not look this up, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, that this is like Amway maybe. So, um, not 100% sure, but it is stainless steel. Um, little ball necklace. I love this. If anyone is interested in the um, stainless steel necklace, let's do it for $8. Then, look at this beauty. I love this. And I, well, first of all, I love Onyx. And by the way, wouldn't this necklace look great with these? Um, I mean, or you could even pair it with this. Anyway, um, it's got gra these graduated balls and in between are little silver balls. Now, the clasp, I'm probably not gonna be able to show you because it's itty bitty, teeny tiny. Right here is marked 925, okay? Um, so I'm also guessing that these beads in between are sterling, but I haven't tested those. I just tested the clasp beautiful graduated what I'm guessing is onyx because it is cold to the touch and it's got some weight to it um I don't have a presidium I'm hoping my birthday is coming up that maybe maybe I'll get one <laughs> for my birthday we'll see <laughs> um but if anyone is interested in this gorgeous onyx necklace um let's do it for 35 okay a couple more pieces I got a set so usually to be honest with you when I see a set at the thrift with earrings and a necklace I really don't even look at it because most of the time it's just like a fast fashion um, maybe even like a paparazzi or a Claire's or something like that and so I don't really pay too much attention to it but I saw these and I'm like those look like they could be you know real pearls and they've got you know like the little and I don't know 100% that they are okay I think so maybe not I don't know but it is a sterling silver um, chain but I love pearls and I especially love um, the ones that are in a color like this and I thought the chain was really interesting so sure enough I looked at the clasp which um, it needs a little bit of cleaning on the back um, and then right on the lever it is marked See if it'll focus 925 I did test this it is silver but the interesting thing is now is that I took these off okay let me take one off real fast and I checked the post and I didn't see any sort of marks on the post and I'm like that's weird so I tested the posts they're not sterling so I don't know y'all I mean these definitely look like they belong together um, so I'm gonna sell them together because it's gorgeous. Um, if anyone is interested in the um, sterling 
pearl necklace with the earrings set. I'll do it for um, $25. Isn't that really pretty? Oh, I just, I love that. Okay, last item for the night, you guys. I could have brought more out, honestly. Um, I bought, um, I have more. <laughs> But I'm like, I don't want to make the video too long. Um, so I'll do another one again soon. You guys seem to like the thrift hauls, seeing what I'm finding at my thrift. Um, check out this cool necklace. Uh, so you've got these wooden discs, okay? And then they're separated by these little wood beads. And I don't necessarily pick up like wood jewelry, but these turquoise discs with the carving in them, I had to have this. So anyways, I um, also looked at the clasp. I always look at the clasp. I was looking, I did notice on the side that it is marked here, 925. And so I was like, oh, awesome. So, you know, I was gonna grab it anyway for these, but it's even better that it's sterling. But then on the other side, see if I can show this. Um, there is an additional mark and that mark is an A inside a triangle and then an IL. So of course I asked my friend Brighton for help and he reached out to Joanne over at Texas Cash and she was able to figure out that this is Aluma, A-L-U-M-A, um, and it's it was made for QVC. So I was able to look this up and there are similar necklaces by that same brand. Y'all, they're going for like over $100. It's crazy. Um, but if anyone's interested in this necklace, I will do it for $50. Um, and if you guys are familiar with Joanne's channel, we did a collab together recently on a Goodwill Blue Box. I will make sure to link her YouTube below in the description, as well as Brighton's. Everybody in the jewelry community is so nice and helping each other. Um, and so that's always, that's always great. Oh, look at those, I love it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let me know um, what your favorite piece was. Again, if you're interested, y'all, I can't with all the turquoise I got. Um, if you're interested in any of these pieces, uh, make sure to reach out. You can email me at stinaresells at gmail.com. And I will see you guys back again on Thursday for a Thread Up Thursday. We're going to be opening a designer box. Bye, y'all.